Hi Familia and welcome to another YouTube video. This is going to be all about diet and all about nutrition and understanding what kind of things you need to eat in order to achieve your goals. And so if you watch my previous videos, you know that I always stress the importance of food and of eating well. If you're not eating enough, if you're not eating the calories that you need for your goal, imagine what I eat is completely different from what you need. Remember that if you're not eating the amount of calories that you need for your goals, you will not see results. No matter how many miles you run, no matter how many hit sessions you could do, how, how heavy you go, how many PBs you hit, and how many times you train, how hard you train your legs. You could be training your legs as hard as anyone, harder than me, harder than anyone in the world. And, and have an amazing training program. But if you're not following the right diet with the right macronutrients that you need, you will not see the results that you need and you will not ever, you will never reach your fullest potential, okay? So obviously I've done what I need in a day, I filmed a what I eat in a week as well, so if you want to check them out, feel free to check them out. My previous, if you want to have something as a reference, I've done a whole um, day of work out of what I do, um, but um, I feel like I dedicated a lot to my work outside, but I've never really done um, a sort of video explaining how calories work and what you need to do um, for yourself, okay? because there is a lot of misinformation, misinformation on the fitness industry about juicing, about juices, detox things, um, salads that you eat to eat. Um, you can't eat pizza, you can't eat chocolate, you can't eat things, but I can assure you that my online coaching clients are eating chocolate, they're eating cereals, cocoa pops, they're eating pizza, they're eating burgers, they're eating chocolate, they're eating everything and they're still losing weight or achieving the goals that they want to achieve, okay? In order to achieve your goals, you don't have to follow a super strict diet, it's all about calories and that my friend is you, it's going to be your best friend as well and I'm going to show you in this video how everything works now before we get into this as always for me yeah, please like and subscribe so that you never miss any content from me and yeah become part of the familia as well um, so I'm going to start by explaining how calories work so before we get into um, the video as well I want you to understand a few things and why nutrition is so important okay nutrition is important because when you train at the gym and what happens on an um, anatomical level when you train your muscle fibers okay your muscles inside you so for example I'm training legs right my leg muscles will have micro tears these are little breakage points in my muscle fibers okay because I've been training and the muscles are kind of broken a little bit now you'll be scared hearing this but it's not a bad thing okay because our body is wonderful and um, it's able to our body is able to um, regrow repair and regrow bigger and stronger because you will adapt to the stimulus and the brain will say wait Let's make sure that this doesn't happen again, this breakage. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grow bigger and stronger so that I can hold on to the next workout, the next things that she's gonna make me do, okay? So that's the way it works. <laughs> explain it like I'm talking to kids, but it's just to really explain the core of how it works. So your body uses nutrients, okay, to help repair your muscle. So think of your muscles as a, as a wall, okay? Just want you to picture a wall and it's just been broken, okay? Some some of the bricks have been broken. So imagine a big wall and some parts of it that just, they've got little cracks, little things, okay? Um, and we'll call our, and our body will send little builders, okay? The builders to go and repair it, to pat it and to rebuild it again. So on our body, these are things like food. That's why it's so important I mean, specifically we're talking about protein. Protein is what is called the building blocks of our muscles, okay? So protein will be used to repair, okay, the muscles to grow bigger and stronger, okay? So that's why it's important that you always prioritize as a first thing, protein. We need something else as well. Um, when we go to the gym, we start burning calories. That's something that happens in our body. But in order to lift, heavy weights or just weights as you start as well as a beginner. Obviously your body uses fuel. So this time, imagine of your body as a car, okay? A car in general, not just to work out, but a car to function, to start, to take you from A to B. It basically uses fuel, doesn't it? It uses fuel or 
gasoline or whatever you call it in your in your country and what happens is that our body uses a specific type of fuel that is called carbs not just carbs you also use protein and fat but that's another thing but the first and the higher quality source of fuel that our body uses is carbs okay so that's why carbs are so important in our diet especially when you're going to the gym and you're doing a heavy session okay you need energy your body need, it needs energy because you're lifting big amount of weights that your body wasn't used to before okay so as you start training your body will start using ATP which is anyway we're talking about a little bit more complicated here but um, in short it will basically start using carbs and things like creatine and other little systems but carbs is one of those and it's one of the highest quality energy that your body will use okay so it's really important that you include carbs in your diet and then things like fats as well healthy fats they help us keep um, the help our body to healthy fats like omega-3 omega fatty acids and all these lovely things. Now, um, now, now that we understand that we need carbs in our diet to function well to, so things like, obviously carbs are divided into different groups, let's call them this way. We have higher quality carbs, Okay, so there are carbs that stay longer in our system, for example, and things like oats, for example. Oats will tend to stand, stay a little bit longer in our body, so the energy will be used throughout the day longer. And that's also why oats will tend to keep you fuller, because our body takes a little bit longer to digest them. But now if we actually consider things like a banana, Again, remember, fruit has also got carbs, um, but a banana is a little bit easier to synthesize in our body, so um, that will get rid of, um, the body will use it pretty quickly. Things like, for example, potatoes, quinoa, and all these things, these are simple, that they've always been introduced for us as better source of high quality of carbs, okay? But if you consider chocolate, okay? Everyone kind of condemns things like chocolate, pizza, or ice cream. They're still carbs, and I do know that they, in comparison, a chocolate, a bar of chocolate to a banana or an apple. Obviously, the apple is going to have more um, macronutrients, more nutrients in general than a piece of chocolate, and of course, there's no doubt about that. But it doesn't mean that just because we eat a piece of chocolate, we need to condemn ourselves and think that we are our diet is ruined because that's not how it works. In fact, my clients eat chocolate, peanut butter, anything you can think of burgers, anything you can think of, they can still lose weight. So how does he explain that? How do we explain that? Because it's not the type of food that makes you gain weight or lose weight. So you probably clicked in this video thinking, oh, she's going to tell me what kind of food is going to make me grow my glutes or what kind of food is going to, I can eat or what kind of juices I can mix together so I can lose weight fast. No. Okay. There is not a particular food that you can eat. Like I can't just eat pasta, for example, and grow, grow my glutes. No. I can't just have a smoothie and lose weight or a detox juice and lose weight it doesn't work like that okay it's all about calories and the reason why in the past you followed a certain diet that told you to eat salads and juices and this and you did lose weight it wasn't because of the food you ate but because probably the things you consumed put you in a calorie deficit okay it's not because you ate that salad, that juice, you lost weight and you burn fat. No, it's not that, okay? What made you lose weight in the past has been putting you in a calorie deficit. So you, without knowing, were on a calorie deficit. Let me explain what calorie deficit is, okay? So ourselves, as humans, okay? We burn calories just existing, okay? So that's me, Let, let's pretend I'm sleeping, okay? We're burning calories while we're sleeping. This is something, even if I was in a coma, like touch wood, I don't have wood to touch. Oh my God, yeah, found it, <laughs> found it. 
And if it was, for example, in a coma, I would still burn calories. This is because of things inside our body. Our body still functions, okay? Our heart is beating, we're breathing, things like that also helps us burn calories. Not a lot, but still. That's also what people think as our metabolism, if it makes sense. We, because our body, even to digest food, for example, use energy to break our food inside our, our stomach, okay? Every single individual is different. It's something that is called BMR, okay? We call it BMR in fitness. And it's um, the amount of calories that your body will burn just existing. So let's imagine you sleeping, not moving, okay? On top of that, okay, as a human being, of course, we just don't just exist. We get up, we brush our teeth, we walk around, okay, we walk around the house. Sometimes we do some housework, we wash our plates, we wash our dishes, we move around, and that also counts as calories that we burn throughout the day, okay? And after that, on top, obviously, we've got the calories that we burn when we exercise, okay? So we go to the gym and we burn a certain amount of calories. This little watch, normally here, it's an Apple watch, and it tells me roughly how many calories I burn during the day. So my BMR, so that's my calories, normal calories that I burn, just me existing, not doing anything, like just literally sleeping, let's say, is around 1500 calories. And this is calculated based on my height, and all my weight and my gender and age, okay? So I'll give you a little formula here that you can use to calculate yours and put it on the screen, okay? But wait, you don't have to do that. That's just if you want to be extra, um, extra geeky, okay? Wait for me. So you got this calories. And then to calculate how many calories you need to do if you want to lose weight, maintain or gain weight, you need to multiply this by the activity. So this little Apple Watch is not going to be accurate, okay? There's nothing that we can use nowadays that is going to be completely accurate. It just gives an estimate. I'm not saying you have to buy an Apple Watch. It's not the case, okay? Um, but every day, you'll be burning a certain amount of calories. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay? You could either estimate this on an app, online. It's not everything is an estimation nowadays, okay? We can't have something precise, okay? We have to estimate this. Usually the easiest way to do this is by using my fitness card, but my fitness pal, rather than doing all those calculations that I gave you, it's just much easier. It's just what I've been doing myself. I'm not good at math, so I don't know about you, but <laughs> anyway. Um, I just use a fitness, my fitness pal, which is free, okay? and it calculates the amount of calories that I need if I want to lose weight or to gain weight, okay? So at the moment, I'm bulking. So I'm on 2,500 calories. That's for me, okay? For my height, weight, and goals, okay? But for you, it'll be different. You can also calculate this to find out what yours is. Just download my fitness pal. It's not sponsored. This is generally what I've been using. You can also do it online or I can do it for you. I can set up the whole meal plan telling you what you need to do without you not even having to think about it, about the calories, how many calories you need. I can do it all for you along with the workout that you need to achieve your goals. Okay? You can do it customized and personalized to you. Link in the description below, and that is called online coaching, which is pretty much one-to-one -one with me. I want to give you a practical example to understand this even better. So let's say my fitness pal tells you that you need to be on 1,700 calories to lose weight. You want to lose weight, that's your goal. But let's say that you went and you ate, at the moment you would eat 2,200 calories. But my fitness pal tells you 1,700. So you would immediately think, okay, that's the calories I need to do, that I need to consume. Let's just drop to 1,700 calories. So chances are that you'll get really, really hungry and you'll give up sooner rather than later. You'll end up binging because the calories are too low for you, okay? You're getting hungry. It's not sustainable. So, the best way to do this is to do it gradually. So if you've been eating 2,200 calories, I'll start by reducing them by 200 every couple of weeks. 
So from 2200, I'll do to 2000, and then to maybe 1800, and then to 100 over the next few weeks. You can't do this straight away because chances are that you will really hate it, okay? So doing it gradually is the best way. And as well, same thing if you want to lose, if you want to gain weight, you want to start, for example, slowly increasing them slowly by slowly. Okay, so really important to do that. But now, let's talk about the foods that we we have around us and how calories work. Okay, your best friend, as I said before, is going to be your lovely scale. Okay, I track everything at the moment because I've got a specific goal. I don't say you have to track every single time, but I have to stick to a certain amount of calories if I want to reach my goals. That's simply how it works. You need to stick to your calories in order to get to your goals. You cannot just estimate or even worse, stick to your calories five days a week and then a weekend, it's fine, forget about everything. No, because there's two days that you don't track and that you're getting off the meal plan, it's just getting you further, it's just getting you back to where you were before. So it's really important to stick to it as much as possible, okay? And I'm not saying that you don't have to have your favorite foods anymore. That's when the whole video, that's the whole, what the whole video is really about. You don't have to stick to just overnight oats, porridge, salads or chicken and broccoli. If you want to have other things, you can have anything you like. You want to have a Domino's, have a Domino's. If you want to have a Chinese, have a Chinese. The only rule is that you have to know how many calories they've got, okay? So let's just talk about this, okay? To a practical example, Bell Vita, okay? That's known to be fairly healthy, isn't it? Like if someone is on a diet, what do you think they're gonna choose between these? The Bell Vita, soft bakes, whole grain, or a Kinder Bueno. If someone is on a diet, what do you think they're gonna pick? Thorough the explorer. <laughs> um, obviously, majority of people will, will um, go for the whole grain cookie, okay? Because they just think, oh, it's whole grain, oh, this is bad. This is automatically, they think, oh, this is bad, no, I can't have it, I'm gonna have this, it's fine. Doesn't work like that. It works in terms of calories. So should we just have a look at these calories? So Kinder Bueno, one Kinder Bueno, a little bar, has got a hundred and hundred and eleven calories. hundred and eleven. This has got two hundred. Is this double the amount of this? And we just found out this, that this is actually, so you've been told that this is worse, but this has got half the amount of calories of this, and it's also nicer, okay? I like Kinder Bueno. I mean, if you don't like Kinder Bueno, you've got a problem, okay? <laughs> so, even though you wanted to eat both of them, this has got 200 calories, that would be close enough to this, to it would be 220 calories maybe. So, you could enjoy this, you could have enjoyed this, guilt free but no you said to yourself because this is bad but that's not your fault that's society what they were um what kind of like media and loads of there, there's so much misinformation out there they've been saying chocolate is bad have your whole grain bar when your whole grain bar has got more calories than your kinder bueno you see what i mean that's why tracking is so important and let's say you want to have this you know that if you have one, it's 100 calories, okay? If you have two, it's 200. So, you have 200 calories, and that lovely lady that we talked about before, we said that we would increase, you would decrease the calories for 2,200 to 2,000, okay? So, if she's got a cap of 2,000 calories, she's ate this, perfect. She can have it, fine. But subtract. 200 to 2,000. So now she's eaten this, let's say I've eaten that, and I've got 18, um, 1,800 calories left, okay? And that's how you should be playing around it. So whatever you eat, you can have anything you like, just as you stay within your allowance. 
So, still enjoyed my Kinder Bueno. Now, I'm gonna go and make some chicken, um, something high in protein. Don't forget, you want to make sure you hit your protein goal. So, still have some protein, um, have some chicken and, I don't know, a chicken stir fry. And that stir fry has got 600 calories, perfect, okay? 600 calories plus the 200, 800 calories, okay? I've got more left for my day's allowance, do you know what I mean? You keep eating until you hit that thing, but at least you know what you're eating and you know how many calories you're eating. Another thing that shows why tracking calories is so important, okay? Two of my favorite things. We've got Special K on one side, okay? Cocoa Pops, right? If you're on a diet, which one would you choose? Instantly, without even thinking, you will go for the Special K, right? You just say Special K, oh my god, that's just like, you know, less calories, healthy, you know, because that's what society is about. But you look at Cocoa Pops, it's like, oh my god, that's so bad for me now. Should we look at the calories again? It's just really that easy. You can just look at the pack, at the back, okay? Go at the back, see what it says. Or, if you don't want to even like mess around with it, with my fitness pal, you can literally scan the barcode. So all you do is just literally scan the barcode and it tells you how many calories each portion has. But let's say you don't want to use that, okay? Special K has got for 100 grams 392 calories. 392 calories for 100 grams. Should we look at this for 100 grams? 100 grams of this has got 382 calories. So, actually, although the difference is not much, so can you believe it that this has got less calories than this? Would you have thought that? So someone that is, wants to lose weight or is wanting to lose fat, okay, free comp as well. Um, if you want to lose weight or if you want to lose fat and build muscle at the same time, if you have to stick to your calories, it's actually more convenient to eat your cocoa pops than this, than your special K. This has got less calories than this. Obviously, we're talking about grams. Okay, that's why our little scale comes handy. You need to weight your food because you could be pouring a bowl of set cereals here and go way above 100 grams. If you go way above your 100 grams, you won't be having 382 calories anymore. You have more. That's why it's so important to weight up your food. And that's why it's so important to weight everything up. You need to make sure that every time you have breakfast, you weight up your calories, you'll make sure they're 100, okay? You need to use your scale. And that's something that I do all the time. But the scale, also, although it can be a little bit annoying for you to do that, it allows you to eat stuff that you would have never thought you would have to eat or you could eat if you were to follow a specific diet. If you didn't weigh your food, you wouldn't know that you can actually enjoy Cocoa Pop. You could actually have your Kinder Bueno, you could actually have a burger, you could actually have pasta. But if you track it, you'll be fine. You don't have to worry. You know what I mean? Even if I give you a meal plan and your meal plan doesn't have uh, a Kinder Bueno and you see it once in a shop and you think, hmm, I actually want to have a Kinder Bueno today. Fine. All I have to do is just have this calories and replace the calories from there and remove the calories from something else. So for example, I'll have less calories from my lunch, or less calories from my dinner, or I'll skip the snack instead of this. To make sure that the calories at the end, they're always, always, always the ones that you get given to, to your goals. It's that exactly the same principle for those that want to gain weight. I need to make sure I hit my 2,500 calories. And if I don't, I won't gain my more bunda.
also it's all about making smart choices so for example if you want to have a pizza um, you can have that but choose there are usually different ones so if you check just the calories and nutritional values at the back you can always pick the one that has got less calories and obviously truck them in within your um your day so between having a domino's pizza and this you could have for example this which is a smarter choice because um 100 grams will have 272 calories while if you have half of that which is basically half a pizza but if you have half of the domino's pizza you'd probably be looking at 2000 calories <laughs> So um, it's just about making those smart choices, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that you can't have dominoes every now and again. It doesn't mean that you can have something that is slightly high in calories every now and again. It happens once in a while, like once a month or maybe twice a month, that is fine. But if you start having that every single weekend, that is something that you need to consider, especially if you're trying to lose, um, to lose weight. If you're someone that is looking to gain weight, um, of course that's fine because the more calories you get, the better, but make sure you always stick within a certain amount of calories just because you don't want to start, um, instead of bulking, um, going to the opposite end and just maybe getting too fat, which is what you don't want. The practical example that I was going to give was the olive oil against butter. So you think that olive oil and butter is will condemn, so it's about making smart choices. So not every butter, but as well, key is always to look at the calories in the little bit description um, and the nutritional information. Do you always find them? So check them out. So while one tablespoon of this will be 200, 150 calories, if you use 30 grams, 10 grams of this will probably be 25 calories. 150, 25, maybe if you want to have 20 grams, even 50 grams, 50 calories, you see the difference. So that's what I mean when checking and why, and that's what I mean. You don't have to eat boring stuff. But if you can make adjustments, you'll start learning. It's just at the beginning that will be a little bit harder because you don't know what things and what calories. But once you create habits, once you create the habit of checking, once you get to know as well, now I will know that between this and this, I'll just go to a supermarket and pick straight, straight away this because I know that this is better than olive oil. Or, or little trick for you, if you want to hit your calories, when I'm bulking, I'll probably use olive oil more because I need more calories, I need to hit extra calories. So instead of butter, of this fluoralite butter, I would use olive oil because it will add more calories and help me add, uh, will help me achieve that, um, that goal that I need um, in order to gain uh, more muscle. If I want to have more calories, I'm going to have this because it's got more calories. Um, or if I only have 100 calories left um, to complete the day or to complete my goal, I'll have one little bar of this. Obviously, you want to prefer high protein stuff. It's not just about calories. Obviously, we talked about calories, but remember what I told you at the beginning? We need to prefer high protein things, okay? So I always plan my meals. The first thing I think of whenever I want to think about my meals is protein not only for me only for uh, and as well for my clients and then I build everything everything around protein so if I want to have chicken um, 100 grams of chicken or chicken breast will have a certain amount of calories but will also have a certain amount of protein that I need to track and make sure I hit for the day and um, I usually don't worry too much about um, all the macronutrients about hitting exactly the same amount of carbs and fats because sometimes I do go over those but what I focus the most is the amount of calories and the amount of protein those are the most important thing that I focus on and um, for my goals and for my clients as well um, so that being said um, you can have high calorie of calorie thick foods and um, if you want to if you're trying to bulk are things like peanut butter and any other spreads so peanut butter I would consider and um, I would include it a lot with my porridge if I'm having baked oats as well or biscoff I have bread quite a lot I uh, listen carbs are my weakness I'm Italian for me you know that so I would have bread pasta rice anything like that and then I'll mix in chicken or fish or oh, one thing and um, one little trick for you and um, to just suddenly increase the calories of your meals is to do a little peanut butter sauce 
um, that I usually like to have it with my prawns. So if I'm having rice and prawns or noodles and prawns, I will make this little sauce with peanut butter, soy sauce, a little bit of lemon juice, um, and I'll just sprinkle it on top and it will increase the calories and the calorie amount loads. So I would have this as a little trick. And my yog bowls, you must have seen me having those all the time. I put one scoop of blessed protein in it, Greek yogurt or skay yogurt. I'll show you my favorite yogurt actually. Um, showing you my favorite <laughs> food. Um, this is my favorite, the one that I have all the time. I'm not sure whether, wait, let me just get closer. Um, so this is really good. Um, I would have this all the time. Um, but if you don't have skay in your country, you can have Greek yogurt, that's fine. Still zero, fat free, 0% fat, and it's quite delicious. And um, so I would usually um, have a bit of that. So 100, 200 grams sometimes, depending again, how many calories I've eaten throughout the day and how many calories I've got left, okay? So I would have this, then blessed protein. By the way, protein powder, guys, has got calories as well, so track it, please. <laughs> um, so one scoop of protein, then granola, biscoff, um, and then I would also spring some um, uh, low-calorie chocolate sauce as well. So guys, as you can see, there is not, obviously I'm giving you here some of my favorite foods, but these are not just if you eat yogurt and granola and this, you won't gain a booty. Or if you just have Belvita, you won't, or Cocoa Pops, you won't lose weight. There is not one food, again, that will help you reach your goals. You have, it's all about calculating the calories. This is probably your best friend. This is probably the most important tool in your kitchen and in your fitness, with your fitness goals as well. Tracking, tracking, tracking. But yeah. For me yeah. I hope this video really helped you. It's a bit different from the normal ones that I gave you but again I'm here to educate you and help you as much as possible. Please give you give this video a thumbs up and <laughs> showing that you liked it um, and let me know if you've got any specific um, content requests as well in the comments down below. Please feel free to subscribe because it really helps and thank you so so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time with another video.